Hi, hello, hello, my friends. This is Marina Yudina, and this is the next episode of the Queen of Success show. Today, I have a very special guest for you. We recently met, but his energy, his kindness, his attitude toward the people melt my heart. I would like to introduce you to my friend. He is a celebrity hairstylist with 20 years experience of doing hair. Winner of multiple hair contests, public figure, and had a big experience on TV show and fashion shows. I would like to introduce you to 36 years old, owner of Salon on Beverly Hills with a strong, talented artist team that he creates. And that's not the end of his dreams. I would like to welcome you, Artyom Kucherenko. Hi. Hi. Hi, Hi. Hi Maria. <laughs> Hi. Nice to see you. Nice to meet everybody. Uh, thank you so much for such a good introduction. Uh, everything what you say is really true. Um, yes, I worked for 20 years and I follow my family um, side because all my family side is hairstylist, to be honest. I was a kid when I had a dream to have my, uh, my personal salon. I did not expect it's going to come out that much in Beverly Hills. In America, I did not know exactly what it's going to be, but... But the dream came true. God, that correct? God, God guide us, you know. If you um, have a dream and you believe in that, you, you are a good person from brain to heart, you know, God will help you for sure. And that's things I wanted to tell everybody. Be good, be best version of yourself and believe in your dreams. Never betray your dreams and living your life as it should be. Do not waste your time for sure. That's wonderful. Thank you so much for the advices. And uh, when I was preparing for this interview and meeting you and to introduce you to our people, um, uh, you have a very professional Instagram page. You have a very professional website. But nobody knows who is Artem is. Yes. <laughs> and that's my goal, to open that person and who will be able to help you follow your dreams and achieve your dreams. And I have a question for you. So when I was looking for uh, about you, you know, and I found very interesting information. Um, among all your achievements, okay. that what's kind of like caught my eyes. Interesting. So let me ask you how to be a student of the State University of Economics, statics, Statistics, and Informatics wow, she get surprised you. Me. She surprised <laughs> me what she found it. Oh my gosh. Get you to the point it's of that. It's really true. It's really true. I have a degree of marketing. Uh, I graduated the Institute for, of, of the Economics. So uh, it's my another side of my family, my mom side of my family. They're all. Um, like uh, financial degrees, uh, accounting, everything about this. My father's side is all hairstylist. So when I was a teenager, like around like 14, when you have a time to choose, what do you want to have? Which degree do you want to have? Um, I was discussing with my mom about this, and she said, Artem, I know you want to be a hairstylist. I know you want to be those uh, talented artist people who you want to be, but let's be realistic. Um, what you, if you'll have some issues with your health? You want to have, you need to have some kind of degree which will helps you work without like standing like behind the chair and working. And she say, let's get something more for you like that's for your future. Um, and I said, mom, okay, you <laughs> choose whatever you want, but not accounting, not like not financial degree. She found marketing, and that's actually was really helpful in my life, and I wanted to. Thanks her so much because this degree helps me a lot to build my business, build my personality, my perspective, my vision of the business as the owner of the hair salon, as a like step by step I was living my life to building with having imagination how it's supposed to be. My Instagram page and everything. Because a lot of hairstylists, to be honest, do not pay attention on those little things which 
Actually, the foundation crucial moments in our life for hairstylists, how to sell yourself, how to build communication with the clients, how to um, do marketing, uh, researching about the business. And it's a lot of moments which this degree actually helped me. And thanks my mom for this degree. So yes, it's true. <laughs> I graduated the marketing college and I never work as a marketing for sure. That's what I want to ask you. Have I you ever worked? I start straight from the college be a hairstylist, but uh, those knowledge and my experience helped me a lot to combine all those degrees together. And we're, like, we are here, you know, you see, obviously I have my salon and it's Tell going, me a little bit good. about your salon. So it's, as I know, you just open it. Yeah, it's true. Um, well, first of all, I was dreaming to have my hair salon since I was a kid. I always knew I'm going to have it. I just didn't know exactly where it's going to be, uh, which country. It all turns out very interesting. So, yeah, um, I was traveling a lot to a different country to find my home, you know. And I found this beautiful United States place in Los Angeles. Uh, I always wanted to be around the sun and ocean and, and beautiful people who are um, seeking for something beauty, you know? And I found it. Los Angeles, for me personally, it's a beautiful place where you can build your business about beauty industry. And I was living here for eight years and tr started looking for places around. It was really hard to find, to be honest, you know? Because uh, it's a lot of moments, a parking structure and uh, society. Um, around the, like the areas you like, will spend a lot of time to find exactly what you want. And I'm perfectionist. I wanted to see and have exactly what I have in, in my mind. So yeah, when I found this place, finally, I already lost the hope to be honest to do this. <laughs> and like, when I found this never place- Never lose your hope. Oh my gosh. Yeah, never. So, like seriously, ever. never give up, you know? Yeah. When I found this place, I saw something which nobody could nobody could see it. It was a little bit different, I would say, like way different. And I literally say, I see this place as I want it to be. And I took it and I started working on it. Uh, there was, was a lot of redesigning, a lot of ideas, how to make it happen. And we made it. So this place in the center of the Beverly Hills, uh, right now, brightening up. Four months ago, we did the grand opening finally. Everyone, everyone came. Um, all my clients, all my friends flew over from New York, from Denver, from San Francisco to celebrate this opening. And everyone say, Artem, this is something unique I've never seen before. And I will say, this is 20 years of experience working on different salons. And I combine all these little things together to bring them in one place, you know, and then I, and I made this. That's wonderful. Thank you so much for sharing that. But now you are in the place and the state of already achiever, that you already achieved that. I would like to, to use some quote. So success is not final. Failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. And I think this quote by Winston Churchill, I think that's really resonate with you. It's really true. So um, let's talk about a little bit about failures. Have okay. you been some down times and how did you manage to get up and move forward? I'm sure it was some difficult times, good times and bad times. Uh, Anything you can let me dig a little bit deeper yep. to get to this point where we were okay. to, to this question. Another side of me, since my childhood, I was in sports school, which actually built those core to be a fighter for the life and never give up. No matter what's happened, you just like a icebreaker in the ocean. You know, you just go forward. Yes, there was a lot of moment when I was like losing hopes. What I was, kind of sport? Um, ski cross country. Oh wow! Ski cross country. It's very competitive. It's a horse sport, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot, of, and it's yeah. really difficult. Actually, uh, again, thanks my mom because she forced me to be there because she worked there. <laughs> she wanted <laughs> to control me what I'm doing. <laughs> oh my God! It was a lot, and I was like, Mom, why do I have it? She was like, You will thank me one day, and I do right now and forever every day. Honestly, without that, probably I would give up on my hope, on my dream, way long time ago. To be honest. It's make so, you more organized, more competitive, stronger, more yeah, stronger, stronger and stronger. goal oriented and move forward with your uh, life is ideas. not easy and nobody 
say it's you will have everything which you want just like this. No, you have to fight for this, especially sometimes go like way harder on yourself. Yes, sometimes things get easier, sometimes harder, but this is the life. It's a balance between. So what I'm saying about be a fighter of the life, again, if you see something and you're losing hope, take a break. Take a little moment, like little brief, you know, like um, deep brief, you know, and just thinking about how you can help yourself. Maybe sometimes you just step back to give it a time to show why it's going like this. So a little pause, you know, and absolutely, kind of like absolutely. regain your strengths and maybe take a break. Yes, and because I will say something to find again the place to be uh, to open the business. It took me two years. I've seen so many places. Some days I was losing hope, to be honest. I, I say, probably this is the moment when I give up, which I never done it in my life, to be honest. And I say, I don't know what to do. And I was asking God, I was like, okay, I give you everything, like just guide me, you know, like lead me to show me what I can do. And I, you know what, it's happened. I found a different person who, like show me if you new new location, new business is just like this. And I was like, oh my gosh, thanks God. And I now I see why those all two years I couldn't find any places because this is places way more amazing than I saw before all of them, to be honest. Now I see the purpose of this because if something means to be, it goes so easy to you. Never fight something which should go against you. If you see something is not getting easier, probably it's not yours. Take your time. I know sometimes you will like regret about, oh my gosh, it was so beautiful and I didn't catch it. No, you will have way better. God see everything for sure. I believe in God and I believe in energy. It's very true. And I will say something, be a fighter. It doesn't mean just to be a strong person. Sometimes we can have our weak sides, uh, our moments when we can cry, we can give up on something. Did you cry? Absolutely. Nobody can see this. Nobody Over can what? see this. <laughs> I'm not going to say why, what's happened, but there was a oh, moment okay. sometime, okay. little sensitivity, you know. Okay. It's, it's normal. You know what? I'm going to say something. One person told me, Artem, to be a strong person doesn't mean you cannot cry. You should. Because the, like, the tears actually clean your soul. Absolutely. You know, it's really true. Because yep. sometimes when you, when you feel so heavy, feel free to do this, you know, feel, cry, you know, as much as you possible, because that's where you clean your soul and there's your mind getting more clear, to be honest, and you start realizing what's happening. It's happened with me. And there was a moment in my life when life was like pressing me so down, to be honest, and I, to be where I'm right, right now, probably not everybody can be, but I will say something, find some strength in yourself, even if you don't feel it, find it. Everybody has it. Everybody has a chance. Life gives everyone chance, one chance at least for sure in their life to be successful. That's the thing I've learned from some smart people who I work with for 20 years. They say, Artem, there is absolutely everyone has one chance in their life to be successful. It's only you up to you to see this chance to take advantage or just keep and walk by. And I memorize this and I say, I will never just take it for granted anything what God's, what life gives to me, you know? If I see something, I will try and see if it works for me or not. If not, let go, next things, next, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So tell me a little bit about your family. So we heard a lot about your mom mm -hmm. and uh, how influential she was and she's still probably in absolutely. your life. Absolutely, And um, exactly. what about your father? It seems like you have a, both sides, like a business side in your family and the more creative, artistic side of your family as your father. Is that correct? Well, my father is a side of hairstylist. Yeah, my grandma from my father's side, she's the one, the, the beginner of the hairstylist side of my family. From, you are, from you my mentioned you are the third generation. Third generation, yes. Yeah, so, so my grandma, her mother also has been hairstylist. My goodness. I know. Actually, you know what the funny story? I did not know about this because my mom and my father split up when I was two years old and I didn't have connection with him until I turned 14 when I really wanted to be a hairstylist. And I told my mom, I was like, mom, I want to be a hairstylist. I realized that I really like that. 
And she said, let's talk about it. I was like, what's happened? She was like, well, you're not alone in this world. <laughs> you have a family blood. I was like, what? Wow. I so was, you didn't even know? No, oh absolutely my not. God. I was so shocked, to be honest. Not everybody knows that. <laughs> I was so shocked about it. That's the point of this interview. <laughs> I, was, I was so shocked that I have a family hairstyle. Style, and I got so even more inspired. I was like, now for sure, I know what I wanted to be, who I want to be, you know? And I started like go it's to the point. It became more clear for you, like exactly. wow, that's why I have this kind and of gene, you know. And you know so that's in your, actually like in your DNA, actually. Because it of was this imprinted. conversation yeah. with my mom, I started seeking connection with my father. I oh. wanted to have connection with my father to see how that's never happened. That we never talked before. I want to be a hairstylist like all of them. You know, I want to see what's going on. I want to know my family from my father's side. And I found the connection. We're still in touch. We still we saw each other. We spent some time summertime when I was like 16, 18. Then I moved to Moscow, where he lives right now. Um, so yeah, we. We're Does in touch. he know that you opened your salon in Beverly Hills? Actually, recently I told him. Okay. <laughs> recently I told him. Okay. He texts me, asks how are you doing? What's your yeah. life going on? He and I told him he was of you. explode of happiness, yeah. of proudness because none of his side of family to get to this point to open the hair salon. None of them. They used to work behind the chair, but not open their own they salon. Their own salon and be the owner of the salon. Exactly. I have a wonderful team. So how did you select this team? I met with the guys. I met with the guys and girls, you know, who work here. And uh, to be honest with you, next Saturday, I have an appointment and he will do something magical with my it's hair. True. I so actually have to so make a much picture fun. before and after on my Instagram. <laughs> so you might see her yeah. all transformation. So you obviously... I'm a little scary. I'm honest don't with you. Don't I'm honestly. scared because it, this is color and this style quite been in, you know, like 45 years in my life. Uh, so... I don't know, we will see, will but I'm that. open, you know, I'm open for everything, like I'm open for like doing this, you know, interviews with the very interesting people and uh, I feel like I can trust you and specifically you. with that story and when I came to this salon, when I came to this room, I mentioned it today uh, when we had a little conversation over the coffee before our interview, I said that when I came here, I feel so comfortable i feel so welcome so working people who works here it's amazing people and uh, definitely welcome everybody you know welcome here and uh, in the in the heart of the beverly hills in california beautiful california and uh, how did you select the team i know it's very hard i work in the, like my my personally i work in the different hospitals uh, the chief of staff and it's very crucial and important to have your team uh, who are supportive who follow your you know your rules and uh, and actually also very professional i know it's very hard uh, for the person who are not uh, like it's not your home uh, country so it's hard to find i know you've been here for how long can you for eight years eight years yeah. so eight years it's a good time but uh, still uh, it's probably hard to find a good team or how it was with you or any ideas any recommendation is to me you know i'm you know how to find the team well let me tell you i have heard you say when you first time come here you felt welcome right yeah this is about the energy also. Yeah. The energy creates energy. Any movements, it's a progress also. Remember to those things, it kind of helps you a lot. So I mean the energy for long years, I mean for, for a while, so many years I start learn numerology, energy, all these things. So again, energy attract energy. So I want to believe I'm pretty clear person from here to here and this is what I'm seeing right now all this team what you guys like what what we have right now uh, obviously Marina saw some of them already she's gonna see more on Saturday um, so it's kind of just you know got along by itself to be honest of course I did some advertising I did on social media like my posting that I opened the salon I knew some stylists before so we did, I had some base of team before like it was like around maybe like uh, five stylists I had it. And everybody just started getting along. They started reaching me out on Instagram. They was like, oh my gosh, I love your salon. It looks so beautiful. And actually it's coming from hairstylists, even 
compliment me more because as a hairstylist, I know what's mean to be working at the salon. You always have something which you don't like, maybe you something not enough for you. But at this point, I am a hairstylist, first of all. And plus, opening salon, I try to pay attention to all these details for everybody that would feel comfortable be as a hairstylist and as be a client also, feel welcome, create this energy, lights of people, of everything, and team, of course, this is number one to build a team. That's clients feels this, you know? Plus team also, it's, it's a bond of chain, you know? It's everything depend on owner. You know, I will say for sure, as the owner, you are the big energy ball which create the energy at the salon. You have to pay attention on all and everything. And that's how you will create this kind of like a, a family energy connection. Mm -hmm. For me, I wanted to build a family. I want to make... I want to make something like special for everybody because a lot of immigrants, first of all, in this country, Absolutely. let's say this, a lot of talented artists from different yep. countries move here, do not have a family, so they meet them, and as I am also, to be honest, that's what I'm saying. And for me, Open the Salon wasn't just to have just a business, it's a family. And that's what energy I created in this place. Everybody who comes here, they feel so welcome, so safe, so protected, and people just sucked it up this energy and turned yep. into this also you know and that's why everyone every clients if you go on google and type it artem k hair salon you can read reviews people say almost the same thing oh my gosh i like it i feel like home i feel like part of the family it's so nice energy you know and it's really true this today, is you will see yeah i came today you know while i'm waiting for artem and then I was preparing my camera, you know, very, you know, like thinking about what the questions I'm going to ask, how it's going to be, and then like Marina, I relax, you know, he is a wonderful person and everything will be fine. As soon as he get here, he look at me and he said, okay, before we start, let me fix you your hair. And he... <laughs> Just a little bit. Just, Just a little, little bit, bit, you know, and it's make a difference, you well, know, I'm so... I'm perfectionist, what I can say. Yeah, you know? me as well, you know, it's too perfectionist. <laughs> it's each other. Yeah. So, um, I know you're working a lot, and I know, you know, today actually it's Sunday. I don't know what day today. It is know? Sunday. It yeah. is Sunday. Sunday it's is my the July. It's my day off when I have only one day off. Yeah, me too, <laughs> you know. And the July 23rd, 2023. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That means a something. It's a fade, you know, yeah. no, numerology. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. So, how you, you know, uh, how you <laughs> relax? If you are real, I know you need wanna, to recharge your batteries. I don't remember who said this, oh my gosh, but there's a says... Let find, me check the camera, you do Find what you love, you will never work. That's what it is about. I love my job that much. If I would have like, I don't know, some kind of like battery in me, which would never die, I would probably leave here 24 hours working at the salon because I love it so much. And sometimes even after work, I just stay for an hour here to check is everything working, everything is fine, like just touch it up things. And I'm so enjoy with this. It, it, like little things which I'm like, I'm fixing, I'm so enjoy with this. I love my work. Sometimes I'm physically so tired, but emotionally, what I'm saying, I'm so inspired, I'm so in love with my job, which gives me energy to work more, to be honest. So it's probably, always gonna be like this because what you love is never makes you feel tired or exhausted or something it's a true talent from inside and again never betray that you know which god what god gives you this talent you should not betray this because once you betray you will lose yourself it's also very important to remember and that's what i'm saying and yeah i am hard worker <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm a very hard worker and I love it. And honestly, open the salon, it's three times more responsibilities, three times more work. But that's something which coming from inside. I love care about people. I love to create this energy. I love lead people. I love organize people around. And let me tell you something. Uh, again, what Marina just asked me about how I select my team. Be a hairstylist, multiple... Um, hair competition awards, you know, and fashion stylists and work with celebrities, I develop some skills to see people through right away and see their job, you know, from first steps what they do. Of course, every stylist who worked in my salon went through some type of tests. 
I would see what they do to be able to realize if they're good enough or something is wrong. If I see really good potential and I love the person, I help them. I help them grow. I teach them. I show them everything that everybody would in the same level of the skills of uh, their artistic talent and everything. Of course, we do a, a lot of classes. I will say probably every Monday wow. we have a classes. Yes, Tomorrow it's true. You will have it's a true. Class. It's a lot. But so actually, how do you relax? You didn't answer my question. <laughs> I'm relaxing <laughs> at work. Like? I'm relaxing at work. What actually? Uh, With your also, free time. Also, yeah, I love bodybuilding. I love gym. This is actually come from my childhood, be in sport from my childhood. I, so do you think it's um, important and crucial to keep the balance, uh, to do some sports activity as well? I will say something. Uh, in sport, in strong body, strong soul. You know, there's two different things completely opposite to each other. It helps to clear your mind. When you work out, when you're working out, no matter what you do, yoga, bodybuilding, fitness, you your body produces a lot of serotonin, you know? It makes you more happy. Plus, it keeps your mind away from your business, you know? It helps you. You cannot do physical things and thinking about business at the same time. That's how our brain design well, Marina will tell you more about it. She yeah. specializes in this, you know? Yeah. And that actually helps me, really helps me a lot of get away fast from my head when I have some, some stressful moments, you know, at the work or something. Of course we do, it's life, you know? Something always happens, you learn something every day. And being in sport helps me, of course. This is my time when I'm relaxed. Yeah. People think, oh my gosh, what about, are you not dying of being tired? You know, I do sometimes. That's why yeah. I have a night time to sleep. You yeah, know? <laughs> exactly. So, um, I want to tell you guys something. We have um, like a few minutes. And uh, if you are interested in that we will continue, I'm planning to do maybe some another episodes with Artom and uh, about maybe some advices about the hair and about makeup or I don't know you tell us um, I will put all the information uh, under this video and um, please uh, in your comments you know like please comment what do you want us to do next and uh, in that part thank you so much for your uh, honesty. Thank you, no, thank you so much too. And thank you to open up a little bit about I, I know that some question you didn't think a lot, a lot of things. And we didn't prepare for that. I was shocked about, about my about, college. Like, what are you going to ask him? <laughs> I was <laughs> like, so okay. shocked about it. It's true. Well, there's a, you know what? Everything what I say is true. That's why you will never prepare for in any interview. And that's what Marina does. I love it because it's a real conversation. That's what your energy comes from, from your experience, you know, and from your life. It's it's a real thing, you know. It's not, we did not prepare for this. No, I, she did, didn't, she didn't send me any questions. No, I that's asked the whole her, point. I asked her, I was like, do you able to send me at least a few questions that I understand the point of the conversation? She was like, you will see. I was like, okay, go ahead. There is, life is very interesting. I have a lot of things to say, a lot of things to share. Yep. And as Marina said, also, yeah, if you have any question, uh, like ask something, like maybe some point of the hairstyles or something, we can make a lot of interviews with her. And I have a lot of things to share, especially me doing classes for people teaching for years. I think maybe I, that we can do. I think I have something with the to classes. share for sure. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So now we are going to relax because it's already what time is that? Well, it's eight o'clock in the evening, and tomorrow he's coming back to work, and I'm going to fix actually, somebody. Actually, I'm doing brain. class tomorrow. I'm teaching oh, yeah, people yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And working after all. You know? Okay, let's go. Let's go have some <laughs> dinner. Let's go. We're going to. Bye, bye, guys. Bye, bye, bye. bye.